28th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year B. In the Gospel passage, Jesus tells us that it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Since ancient times, there have been various interpretations of this image. Some have interpreted the eye of the needle as representing a physical needle with a small eye that, of course, is impossible for any camel to go through. Others, though, have interpreted the needle and its eye as representing a low entranceway built into a city wall called the eye of the needle that was very difficult but not impossible for a camel to pass through. The only way for a camel to pass through this low entrance built into a city wall was to bend his knees and crawl through. If the camel does not, then his tall hump will hit the top of the low entrance way and the camel will not be able to enter the city. As interpreted by Benedict the 16th, the camel's hump represents our pride that prevents us from entering into the kingdom of God. The only way to enter the heavenly city of Jerusalem is by humbling ourselves, going down on our knees, acknowledging our inability to save ourselves, recognizing our need for a savior, and then by crawling through the true Jesus's wounded side to enter the heavenly city of joy, love, and peace. Benedict the Sixteenth writes, The camel will not go through the eye of the needle. It sticks its proud hump up, so to speak, and is thus unable to get through the gate of merciful kindness. I think we all at ought to ask ourselves right now whether we are not just like those people whose pride and vain glory will not let them to be cleansed, let them to accept the gift of Jesus Christ's healing love. Besides this refusal, which arises from the greed and the pride of man, there is, however, also the danger of piety, represented by Peter, the false humility in which pride is concealed, which dislikes forgiveness and would rather achieve its own purity, the false pride and the false modesty that will not accept God's mercy. May the word of God cut through our souls and our spirits, joints and marrow. In so doing, may the word of God lay bare to our eyes our interior life. Thus naked and exposed, may we rely on the grace of the Lord Jesus to let go of our proud camel humps that stick up in the air, preventing us from entering the kingdom of God. We recognize, Lord Jesus, that we cannot save ourselves. We need you as our Savior. Envelop us in your mercy so that in humility we will enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of love, joy, and peace, the kingdom where all want and seek what is best and holiest, holiest in their brothers and sisters and seek to bring that out. May God bless you all.